Bologna. He's gonna teach you a lesson. Bologna. Attack! Got a Tsukiyomi play-by-play -play to do, chat. I believe I'm against uh, Bologna, most likely. So I've been running with his uh, starting out with Warrior's Axe in Tier 1 Trans. I've done that a few times, and it actually feels pretty good. Can't go Chalice because you want to have the Hog for your buff, so I'm going to do that. And then you just go Trans, then you just go Defense for the rest of your build. Trans power will carry you early game. And next patch, I think Bluestone will be the play, like next Tuesday. But for now, I think this is probably the best bet. Go Beads, because they have a lot of CC, Ares, Loki, Artemis, Ults. But yeah, next patch, Bluestone, I think will be awesome. Because they all have the 15 power, so you can go down and Tsukiyomi. And, you know, Warriors Axe getting nerfed as well. Obviously, you can't go Tier 2 ranked as an Assassin, so you can't build on Tsukiyomi. Otherwise, otherwise, you would be building that on him, because it's pretty good. So yeah. Get four health bots or Hog, so we can actually do our blue. Get in time for the wave. Still two weeks? Oh, is it two weeks? Oh, that sucks. I thought it was uh, next Tuesday. Wait, right, now I'm sad. So we're gonna have to play SPL on this on this patch. We're gonna have a whole weekend of SPL on this patch. That kind of sucks. Anyway, not gonna miss any minions. He actually got Zone of a Minion there. That's pretty crazy. I'm gonna grab my two here just so I can group up the wave and disarm him. Oh, he used his two in front of me. That's not good. I could stun him. Make sure we poke him at the tower line here. Got a lot of pressure off this wave. Totem's not up for another 10 seconds, so we don't have to go to it yet. Just want to make sure I get some more pressure on this wave. want to use it on the wave here, actually, just so I can clear this as fast as possible so I can go to Totem. I can group up the wave with my two here. I'm actually going to hit him with it. And then one through the wave plus... Yep, I hit him with that as well. Probably grab my three just so I can have it for the next wave. It's really good wave pressure. Good poke. How much defense do you need to build for centering next to max damage? Uh, there's no cap on it. I mean, it's, it's like 14%, so it's like... Probably like 200 of each brought. But... Did we ever decide if that was the max? I'm just gonna poke him out here because... I got some health pots to do that with, and he's kind of just playing back, giving me a lot of wave pressure. I'll heal a lot from my Warrior's Axe as well. That's kind of why I like going good early on, because you just have so much range poke, range poke with uh, Tsukiyomi. But you can just like keep procking it. Don't know where their jungle earlier is right now. Hit him with that, nice. Another thing is that your auto attacks give you like a little bit of lifesteal and a little bit of mana regen. So it kind of works out that you have, I mean, your item doesn't give you a ton of like mana. You can have mana issues with this, but you have tier one trans and then you mana on your passive. You can do scorpion with this pressure I have right now. I think I'll stay one more wave. Maybe you can go for his blue. We'll see what their jungler does. He does have a lot of pots, so he should be healing up. Their Loki jungle. I don't really know what he's doing. Maybe he can kill here. Oh, we gotta hit this. I'm gonna go for their blue. Bologna's really low. Look, he's still mid, so I should be able to get this, unless Bologna comes over. He should have just popped his pots, and he would have been back to full health, basically. Vampire build? I could go the vampire build. Salutations. Warrior's Axe and Sundering Axe are both insane on this character just because like late game the Sundering Axe you just you're, you have so much range that you can just keep throwing out from distance here poke and just one shutting people doing all that true damage that health steal What's vampire build basically just life steal and regen yeah They're like a slow eater and stuff I'm not even close to finishing my trans here. I probably should wait for my Bracken, but he's taking forever on this back so Ooh, that's loud. Anonymous, thank you for the $20 dono. Anonymous, been popping off today as Anonymous. 
I gotta be a little bit careful. This one probably should be hitting me right now because I don't have minions. Sup, Finny? Sure, hope with that. Is well. My warrior's axe again. Keep poking him. He does have chain it, uh, chalice and a warrior's axe now, so he should heal a lot. But he's very afraid. He's playing very scared. Not enough for my uh, trans yet. Yo, Zach, thank you for the 12 months in a row, dude. Welcome back to the Ponza family. Appreciate that year long resub. Look at that range. It's insane. You got this. Wait, where did he go? Why did it look like he landed? Did you guys see that? I want to get this totem. You be a little bit careful with Loki around. I saw him on my ward. I don't know if we'll be able to go for blue. If I pop this health pot, we might be able to. I sure am staying for a long time. I don't know if they actually have the timer on their blue. Maybe kill Bologna here. Oh, see ya. Stun him! No! Oh! Oh my god, the stun. I'm on HP. I'm just gonna back. I wanna make sure nobody's here. What a beast! The Cabrera can save me. The two didn't wasn't stacked up, so he didn't stun them. The Loki's three with the two, but he was able to get in range with the one. That was nice. Whew, that was close. Cozy Fulton, thank you for the gifted sub to Sal Savy Prime. Welcome to the Ponza family. Prime. Yes. Nice job. Good shot. Thanks again, though, Zach. How you been, bro? Hope all is well. All is well. Appreciate it, dude. All right, well, now that we have our trans, we want to get that bad boy stacked up. Our beads are going to be down for a little bit, so we got to be a little bit careful off that. Attack the gold fury. One thing Tsukiyomi does have with the scorpion is that he double hits it with uh, his little auto. Trans is very good for this poking game. And I don't, I mean, I don't have defense, but Warrior's Axe makes you a little bit hard to kill, so a little bit harder to gank. You're not like a Ardia with Vamp Shroud Breastplate or anything, but. I think this should just kill him. I might die. No, oh, that was close. I could have popped a Chalice a little bit earlier. Before I started ulting in, I should have. I should do this. I don't want to tank it though, because I'm very low. Should have popped that uh, chalice, like I said, before I ulted in the tower, and I would have been a lot safer. I thought my ult would end up just killing him, but he does have a decent amount of defense now with the tier 1 mystical and uh, Urzang. Go ahead and back. Team is popping off. Probably gonna go Berserkers because Berserkers actually works on your one and your three ranged autos. The extra attack speed helps you out. Helps you uh, send those autos out a little bit faster. Take this jungle buff. Take this jungle buff. So he seems pretty fun. Yeah, he's pretty fun. He's got a pretty clean kit. Like it's pretty fluid. Some mechanics involved as well. Hitting like long range on your ult and your your one and stuff. Want to get that stack? Nice. Go to my blue, but I'm going to do the wave first. I should just one shot it if I three and then one through it. Nice. Get all those stacks from my blue. Now he has to defend his tower or go for his blue. And uh, he'll lose the tower if he goes for blue. Yeah, that's the tower. Eight minutes in. I mean, it's kind of early for a tower. It's not really that great, especially if he zones toward his tier two, but. I'm playing a character that maybe it's not as bad for uh, me to play up on. So if I was like playing a no mobile character, it would be hard to get up to that tier two if they zone, but. So now with all this pressure, what I want to do is I want to keep pushing my ways, make sure I keep getting my XP, keep getting my, my lead growing. But uh, I also want to try and rotate into the jungle and do other stuff. So now I can gank mid, I take their back camps, get a ward on it, see where their jungler is going to come from. Monsters. 
Can look at a gank mid now. We can maybe dive. It's pretty early for a dive. It's gonna be hard to survive the for taking tower, but we have a low key left, so we should definitely be going here in mid. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! I proc the terror ult. That was insane. Sheesh! That damage. Oh, I hit it, but whatever. All right, we got the we got the stack. Did you reset the overlay? Oh yeah, my bad guys. Should have had it over here. My bad, my bad. This whole time I had it there. Alright, so we're gonna go back and push our waves. Make sure we don't miss it on too many waves. Or when you rotate. Whenever you're doing jungle, you basically wanna throw your cow traps down and like, you wanna kite the, the camp across the cow traps, so. Like right there, you throw it down, and then I can just two it, and then with the movement speed you get from the two, you just like, you bring, you tank the the scorpion over, and then it just takes a lot of extra damage from the uh, cow traps. So, Dross, thanks for the gifted sub to Lucky Dragon. Welcome to the Father Family, Lucky Dragon, and Davy be lazy. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub, dude. Welcome, welcome, guys. Like that, throw it down, and then just run to the edge of the camp so that it has to run all the way. You will stun it with your two, so it's not that big of a deal. Staying out with the when you have a big lead like this, it's a lot less important to just back for every power spike that you get. You can just stay out for a lot longer because just because you can like keep bullying, keep farming. You don't really have to worry. But if you only have like a minor lead, you do want to back for your your power spikes right away so that you can keep abusing the fact that you have a gold lead. So we'll go with that, then we're gonna go Pridwin. So loud. <laughs> Wait, what was that? What was that? Anonymous twenty with the twenty dollars uh, seven minutes ago. Thank you, Anonymous. And Anonymous just now with another two dollars. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, whoever it is, supporting. We, we we appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Your right tower is under hey, thank you, YouTube titles. YouTube titles are overrated. It's all about that thumbnail. No fear. Oh, you gotta hit that. Oh, no problem. No issues here. He didn't get the totem, so we got that for the squad. Not even the thumbnail. It's about the content. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, Tyrant. Oh. It's actually an interesting matchup because he can just disarm some of my my range autos and stuff. No problem. But you guys can notice the extra attacks be working on my one and my three, right? It's pretty nice the auto attacks that is. is ready. What the? Is ready. He's really dashing into me. Holy. We're stomping him. So I switched up the teams, maybe. <clears throat> but the, the little attack speed that you get from Berserker just actually feels so nice on this character, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> just the, it's just the thumbnail, that's all you care about, OMG call? Uh-oh. I should be good if Artemis isn't here. Go steal their right jungle. They just now spawned, so shouldn't have to worry too much. Which A we auto these down. No! What? <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> I don't know if we should pause for him. We're up 10k. I don't know if it matters that much, but. Yeah, this is customs arcane. The viewer games. Uh, yeah, sub should be able to post links. Should be. I'm pretty sure they can. Uh 
Oh, uh, Loki's here. Throwing your three at the totem doesn't really do anything. It just gives you one, one uh, tick of the damage. Be right back. Well, it gives you a little range auto, so why not? Cancel that. Enemies in the left jungle. Terrain is so nice for farming. It just gives you so much like uh, farming potential throughout the game. A little power that you get in the mana, basically infinite mana. On my way. No we'll push one more wave and then back. <laughs> That's fine, Johnny. Two guys. Understandable, bro. Shh. That sub or that freaking uh, dono noise. Hold on. Eminem with another twenty dollars says for the puppies that Mwek is out saving. Is Mwek currently saving puppies? Is he really out there with them? Could just go bulwark. I could go like bulwark and then like another physical defense item, like a. Uh, a void shield or something like that, and I'd be feeling pretty good. Attack fire giants, group up. Okay. The skin doesn't really have that many like different effects. I feel like, like even the cow traps. I guess it's kind of cool, but I guess it's a different color as well. But <clears throat> yeah, so we just do bolt or not bulwark. <laughs> do fire and kind of just end this game. We're up fucking 12k. Kind of a stomp. We should have enough damage for it. Turn has crit. I do a decent amount of damage to it with my build. A little bit of attack speed. I don't want to take too much damage from these fools. Nice. Job well done. There are eyes everywhere. Let's blue is up. Grab this real quick. I'm gonna do it so I can secure with my one. Nice. This is close. Definitely was close there. Animation, Bologna 3 is instant, so it's very good steal potential if it's maxed. Johnny 2 gas, thanks for Twitch Prime sub. So much appreciated, dude. Welcome to the Fonzo family. I'm just gonna run it down here, poke his tower line as well. Look at that three, it's so fast, it's so nice. I probably could 1v3 them. Keep poking. You can hit the tower from outside the range with your range autos. I told you. Oh, Kabrakin lived though. How did Kabrakin live? Kabrakin lived. Oh no. I knew I could just 1v2. I mean, Kabrakin was. Or not Kabrakin. I meant Thoth. Kabrakin was there with me, so it wasn't a 1v3 or 1v4 or whatever, but. I got a. I thought that Thoth would die to my first tick of my ult. Unfortunately, he didn't. I should have kept tanking for my Anubis, but. The low key here. I heard him coming in behind. If he walks over the cat traps. Got him. My ult's coming back up in three. I might be able to kill these guys. That was close. Loki, thanks for the 17 months in a row, dude. Welcome back to the Ponzo family. Thank you, the Phoenix. I damaged them. We have a minion coming. We should be able to get triple Phoenix here. I'm healing with the Terra 3, so. I'm gonna drop it now. Starting to take a little bit of damage from it because it increases the longer you take it. We might be able to end. I kind of want to go get my item in their fountain. This is not gonna kill me, brother. Too far behind. I can't ult them either. I kind of just wanted to get my item. Can I get it? Now 
Now I can heal off them. This is good. No, I was gonna heal off them with my Sundering Axe. It instantly procced it. Yeah, I know. I was gonna freaking start healing with Sundering Axe since I was low. That was a big stomp. Unfortunate game there. Not balanced teams. My bad. My bad. But yeah. I mean, hopefully as Tsukiyomi Soli, you do get some kills in lane or like maybe fight a little bit on your side and are able to get some kills going because he is kind of a, I think he's more of a snowball character. You don't really want to be even going into like the late stages of the game, but he's really not that bad. Like as a, a pure tank, if you go like full tank with thorns and dive their backline with like Pridwin shield and stuff like that, he is kind of hard to kill and he will do a lot. So.